everyone. Welcome to another fun-filled episode of the Chris Conrad Movie Review Show. Today I'll be listing my top five choices for the absolute worst movie neighborhoods to live in. These are neighborhoods that make Inglewood in Chicago or most of Gary, Indiana look like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. That was a scene from 1996's Rumble in the Bronx, a film that takes place in the neighborhood of the Bronx that's so messed up it's not even safe for little crippled kids in wheelchairs. Let's take a look. <laughs> A neighborhood so bad it isn't even safe for bad guys to live in. I swear I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I don't know where Angelou is. I don't know anything. Maybe this one up. Sir, I don't want to talk. I want my diamonds back. Yeah. Okay, boys. It's your turn. And you thought the Cohen brothers came up with that wood chipper death thing in Fargo. Not as original as we all thought. I still love Fargo and the Cohen brothers, but I just had to mention that because this movie was filmed two years earlier than that. I gotta say, that made the Bronx look a lot more scenic and rural than I remember when I last visited, but I guess that's because this movie was filmed in Vancouver, Canada. This was the movie that uh, skyrocketed Jackie Chan to an American action hero. He was huge in China already, but this was the one that made him big over here. And uh, definitely a bad neighborhood. Anyone could agree, one you want to avoid. That's number five. And at number four, we have Vigilante Force, starring Chris Christopherson, Chan Michael Vincent, and the lovely Victoria Principal. This movie shows you that even in a small town, there can be a really shitty neighborhood. Yeah, this movie takes place in a small town in rural California where a bunch of oil rig workers are just out of control. So Chris Christopherson and Jan Michael Vincent bring in some of their ex-Special Forces buddies to help clean up the town. But uh, after they clean up the town, the Special Forces buddies stick around and they turn to be out to be even worse you know, residents of the town than the people they chased away. Uh, this is actually a remake of 1975's Bucktown, starring the great Fred Williamson and the sexy Pam Greer, which is in turn a loose remake of the 1951 Western, directed by the great Edward Dimitrik, and starring Henry Fonda, Anthony Quinn, and one of my favorite actors of all time, Richard Widmark. Um, at number three for the all-time worst movie neighborhood, we have... 1987's RoboCop, which takes place in Detroit, a city known for having some pretty bad neighborhoods, and it looks like it doesn't get any better in the future, it actually just gets worse. Uh, this movie was just remade, and I think either came out Friday or is coming out this Friday, and I will be reviewing it, but I have a very bad feeling about it. The uh, lead actor playing RoboCop looks like some faggy underwear model, and you just don't fuck with perfection. This movie was perfect, but the neighborhood is one you do want to avoid. And now at number two for the second worst movie neighborhood to live in, we have Vigilante, starring again the great Fred Williamson and also Robert Forster from 1968's amazing docudrama Medium Cool and also the later Jackie Brown, directed by Quentin Tarantino. Uh, Vigilante takes place again in New York, and this neighborhood is just really off the chain horrible. Let's take a look. Asphalt jungle, an urban skyline of fear, waiting, watching, destroying. You're not safe anymore to walk the streets. Vigilante, another neighborhood so bad that they fuck with people in wheelchairs. I mean, that's just a bad neighborhood. And now for our, my number one pick at the absolute worst movie neighborhood to live in. It's, you guessed it, Death Wish 3, starring the great late Charles Bronson. Now, Death Wish 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 all inhabit bad, horrible movie neighborhoods. But nothing comes close to the epic horribleness of Death Wish's 3's neighborhood. Let's take a look. Give me some money, woman. Four. 
protection from creeps who live around here. You're the creep. Hey. Yep, Death Wish 3 is a neighborhood where even old ladies aren't safe. Now that's a fucking gun. Yeah, Death Wish 3. I gotta tell you, I've never been a big fan or a supporter of the whole Neighborhood Watch group, but unless Charles Bronson's in your Neighborhood Watch, then you're good to go. Um, next time, I'll be reviewing the top five worst movie high schools to attend. Um, thanks for joining me on another fun-filled episode of the Chris Conrad Movie Review Show. I'll see you soon. Bye.